Oh, hi there. I'm Bob the Tomato. Uh, come on over to my house. Welcome to my house. It's the one up on the hill. It's the place I cook my dinners, take my baths, and pay my bills. It's the place that I get letters from kids like you. Hi, Bob. Hi, Larry. Every day we get a letter. Gotta make the problem better. Do you like my yellow sweater? Veggie Tales. You've seen us on TV. But now at last we're on TV. From Portland to Schenectady. It's Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales. Come give me time for Veggie Tales. What's your sweater got to do with anything? Hi, kids, and welcome to Veggie Tales. On TV. On TV. Uh, that's right, Larry. Uh, we're waiting for the mail to come so we can start the show. <gasps> there it is now. Mail, mail, here is your mail. It's here in my bag, not in bucket or pail. I bring it through hailstorm or blizzard or gale, for I am the man who delivers your mail. Can we have the letter? Oh, uh, yeah, it's right here. I'll just put it through the mail slot. Hmm, I'll just, uh, hmm. It just hand it to me over the door. No, I can get this. Uh, hmm. Until next time, enjoy your mail. What's it say, Bob? It says, Dear Bob and Larry, my friend Sarah is acting kind of weird. And none of the other girls like her anymore, and they want me to stop liking her, too. What should I do? Signed, Lucy, Cement City, Michigan. Ooh, Cement City. That's fun. Focus on the problem, Larry. Well, Lucy... Uh, just a sec. Problems with weird friends, is it? We were right in the middle of... The answer, dear Lucy, lies in my big book of oddities. In 1852, British doctor Lucius Vernon became concerned by the weird behavior of his longtime friend Alexander. His other friends told him to ignore Alexander, but he didn't want to do that. So instead, he built a rocket for Alexander and shot him to the moon, where his weird behavior bothered no one. It did, however, attract the attention of a herd of moon beavers who hotwired Alexander's spaceship, flew back to Earth, and invaded Switzerland. The end. If your friend starts behaving weirdly, shoot them to the moon! Cool! Uh, no! We can't tell them that! Uh, look, Lucy, if you want to know what to do with your friend Sarah, take a look at this. losing to me at checkers again? Don't take it so hard. I'll give you another shot at the checker king after work. Thank you for your concern, Poncho, my old friend. But it was much more than merely a bad dream. Was it a wretched dream? Uh, not quite. Insufferable? No. Objectionable? Hideous? Malodorous? Uh, Poncho, I believe I just had the impossible dream. Just by definition, wouldn't that be impossible? Or maybe you just had a difficult dream, or perhaps an impossibly strenuous dream, or even... Look, it was my dream, and it was impossible, all right? The lunch crowd will be here soon. Dream or no dream, it's time to get to work. Two cows still mooing in the hail Caesar. Hold the bird. Order up, Noah's boy on bread. 
side of frog sticks. Drag them through the garden with a stop in the Alps. Everyone, terrible news! A new restaurant is opening up in town. Oh, Poncho, did you hear? That means competition. We might as well close our doors right now. <laughs> Hey, don't worry. Many a restaurant has come and gone, but we're still standing. This is not just any restaurant. It is the Food Factory. Did you say the Food Factory? Oui. They are the most popular franchise in the world. No other restaurant within 50 miles of them can stay open. Do you, by chance, know exactly where they're opening their new restaurant? Oui. Now, Poncho, don't you worry. Uh, the construction alone could stretch out for years. There's no conceivable way they could open for business anytime soon. I wonder how long it'll take for them to attract the crowd. You don't think... Perish the thought. Our customers are true blue. And they'll never desert us. Wait a minute. This is it. This was in my dream. My impossible dream was warning me about the food factory. It's all coming true. Did your dream possibly tell you how to get our customers back? What am I going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to king me. Oh. That'll do. How can we possibly fight this? Look, we'll restructure. We'll find an area they're not covering and do that. Uh, your move. They have food as big as your head! Yikes! What's in this stuff? I don't know what to do, my friend. I'm afraid everything we've worked for is over. I can't believe my ears! We've made it through thick and thin together! This is no different! That's where you're wrong, Poncho. I'm afraid it's never been this thin. Hey, Don, rematch tomorrow night? <sighs> what am I going to do? solution. My first dream told me what was to come. Last night's dream has revealed how we will combat the food factory. 
Oh, okay. Um, but like I said, I got some ideas, too. Yes, yes, fine. In my dream, every time I looked in a mirror, I saw a different reflection, which can only mean that to succeed, I need to be different than I am now. Maybe it just means you need to clean the mirrors in your dreams. We need to change the look and image of the restaurant. Make it different. Something more entertaining. Poncho, I've dreamed the impossible theme. And we're going to make it happen. Run, don't walk. Get it? W-O-K. Walk to Donny Ha Ha. I don't think this is going to work. Patience, my friend. Patience. La Cuckoo Mancha. Our prices are so low. You think we're crazy. We're crazy, all right. Just wait. It'll work. Java Java. Why pay a little for coffee when you can pay a lot? Oh, this is my best idea yet. Where is everyone? <laughs> Pancho, forget about that old cafe. Come with over here. Look, look at how much food they serve. The checkerboard's all set up. How about a game to relax and take your mind off checkers? The stuff. Checkers? Don't you get it? We're going to lose it all. Everything we've worked for, and all you can think about is checkers? <sighs> I don't know, Poncho. Maybe you should start looking for another job. And welcome to the cafe formerly known as La Mancha, where the food and service are par excellence. But between you and me, I'd avoid the salsa. It could kill a horse. Actually, I didn't come here to eat. I came here to hire you. I'm the manager of the food factory across the street. Perhaps you've heard of us? The food factory? It's a pretty big building right over there, across the street. Right here? On, on this street? We got more business than we can handle, and everyone tells me what a great waiter you are. So I'm here to offer you a job. Thank you, but I've got to say no. Uh, we're usually packed in here. Right about now? Look, Poncho, uh, think about yourself for a minute. Nothing personal but this Don fellow in this restaurant of failures. You've got to face facts and cut your losses. Like I said, think about yourself. Let me be straight with you. Don and I have worked together for years, but more importantly, we're friends. A friend is always loyal, Mr. Food Factory Man, and I'm gonna stick by and help my friend in his time of need. Well... Allow me to show you the door. Look, the door. I appreciate loyalty, but... It's the wooden thing with the knob. If you ever change your mind, just let me know. I'm not going to go. Then go. What did you say? If I'm going to go, then go. I can't understand the word you're saying. me why shouldn't you listen i'm not leaving cafe la mancha we're going to make it you'll need to get some rest maybe we can play tomorrow night hmm. perhaps i'll get the answer to all our problems tonight good night don quixote pleasant dreams <laughs> Oof.
wait until you hear my latest idea. Hold that thought, Poncho. I just had a dream that was different from all the others. I now know what to do to rescue our cafe. Is it a better idea than a touchdown turkey? I simply need to attack the food factory and vanquish my foe once and for all. You're kidding, right? This is my quest, to follow that star. What star? I thought we were talking about the food factory. No matter how hopeless, no matter how far. It's across the street. To fight for the right without question or... Sure, that sounds wonderful. But unless I'm mistaken, attacking restaurants is against the law. Aren't you paying attention? This is my quest. Okay, listen to me very carefully. I'm telling you as a friend. You can't do this. Oh, but I must. And you're going to help me. You're going to make a fool of yourself. You first. Go. <laughs> Attention, ladies and gentlemen. I have an... Louder. They can't hear you. <sighs> Attention, ladies and gentlemen. I have an announcement. The venerable Don Quixote will this night defend the honor of his restaurant, Cafe La Mancha. Pancho, leave him and join us. my friend. That's quite enough. <laughs> I am Don Quixote, and I am calling out the food factory to meet me in a battle of honor. The winner shall keep his restaurant. The loser shall leave town forever. Are you afraid to cross swords with me? I give you this last warning. Meet me now and let us do battle, or I shall be forced to attack! That's crazy! Crazy, am I? Look, if you attack my restaurant, I'll have you arrested. Ha! That is where you're wrong, my friend. I fight for honor, and any authority you call will no doubt agree with me on that point. Hey, Don. Sheriff Bob here. Don't do anything crazy or you'll get arrested. I'm afraid it's too late to back down now. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Don't do it. I must. <laughs> Take off your armor and go to bed. I demand legal counsel! How about some friendly counsel? I brought you a few things for your sleepover. Hold on a minute. Well, what you got in the bag? Jissy's regular bedtime supplies. Uh, did you bring my nighty-night hat? Check. You're a good friend, Poncho. Uh, corn chips? Got them. Salsa? Extra spicy? Yep. That'll give you nightmares. Wait a minute. What are you doing? I'm doing this for your own good, Don. I need to stick by you and do what's best for you in your time of need. What are you talking about? I need my salsa. No, Don. What you need is to lay off the salsa. No. You've turned against me, too. Say it isn't so, Poncho, not you! No! Ah, Poncho! What... what are you all doing? Any bad dreams last night? Well, come to think of it, no. Any dreams at all? 
Uh, no, I slept quite well, thank you. Your cells are surprisingly comfortable. I knew it! It's the extra hot salsa! Every night you've been eating it before you went to bed! That's why you've been having bad dreams! Now, I'm sure that's part of it, but you don't expect me to believe... <sighs> that do it all right. Uh, you want to press charges? We bent the giant spatula back. Uh, no harm, no foul. If you agree to stop eating that stuff, you're free to go. Go? Go where? Cafe La Mancha is through. I've got nowhere to go. Don't be so sure. I need six orders of toast, extra crispy. Is that toast French or domestic? French! Open for breakfast. How did you ever come up with that idea? Simple. The food factory doesn't open up until lunchtime. I told you, find something they don't do, and then do that. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you for standing by me when I needed you the most. Hey, that's what friends do, my friend. Now let's get to work. We have hungry people to feed. It would be my pleasure. Say, how about a friendly game of checkers after lunch? The Checker King accepts the challenge and awaits his coronation. So you see, Lucy, the best thing to do for Sarah is to stick with her, to be her friend even if all her other friends have left. Not only will you be doing what you're supposed to do, you might even discover why Sarah started acting weird in the first place. You might solve that problem, too. The weird guy in that story looked a lot like you. No relation. Hey, kids, thanks for coming to my house today. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Are you sure Lucy shouldn't shoot her to the moon? Yes, I'm sure. Uh, Larry, weren't you watching the show? How about Mars? It's red. Well, it doesn't matter what color it is. It still isn't a nice place to send your friends. What if Lucy and Sarah both went to the moon? Would they be back in time for dinner? Certainly. Probably. I guess that would be okay. Great. Then it's settled. I'm sorry. What?